All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Thank you guys so much for being here. I seriously appreciate it. Um, today, we've got some really big plans. So obviously, if you saw last episode, you know that I'd built that entire uh, base right there and definitely had some fun with it. And then on top of that, we also visited another cave and got the, uh, the beautiful, beautiful rope gun right here. And now since then, I've jumped back in and did a little bit of work off camera. And what I did here, I'll go through it, is I, I made a bunch of ammo. So I, I printed a bunch of arrows. I made a bunch more stone arrows and then I don't know where they're at It's showing five zipline rope. I don't know where the grapple hooks are, but I, I made a bunch I don't know how many I made but I made a bunch and then on top of that you guys did let me know a while back that oh Here's the grapple hooks you guys did let me know that we can 3d print more things and the grapple hooks was part of that that I printed and then the flask was another thing and then I also printed a mask. Um, I don't know what that's used for. Potentially, I don't know if we can use it as like a disguise with the cannibals to kind of hope that they don't uh, attack us if we try and put that on. Um, I'm not sure. All I know is that we can hold it in front of our face. We can't equip it. Um, and then what else did I do? Did I do anything else? Oh, yes. Um, here, if you look at my arm here... Now, I actually did it with both arms. It's hard to tell right now. What if I take out my bow? Ah, you can see my other arm. Uh, I kind of look like a honeycomb. And I ended up making some tech armor because that was another thing that we could print was some kind of tech something or other um, to make the tech armor. And I don't know if that's any better than the creepy armor that we have on. I currently have... Two tech armor and two creepy armor. But anyway, sorry, uh, I got a little sidetracked here. What I was saying is we've got some big plans, and those big plans include um, a few things. We're going to get a key card, and we want a key card so that we can explore more into these bunkers that we found within the caves, uh, because I don't know what's beyond all of them, but I cannot wait to find out. But in order to get the key cards, we need a shovel. In order to get the shovel, we need a rebreather and a rope gun. And we already got the rope gun, so we're halfway there. And so now we need the rebreather because we need to get to a cave, I think somewhere up on the north side. And um, once we get up there into that cave, we'll be able to go. There's, I guess, some underwater pass there that we can uh, take. And that's what we need the rebreather for. So my plan is to get all of that done now in this episode. And that's why I did a little bit of work off camera already. With all of that said, let's get going. We need to go up to, I think, to a northern cave in order to get that rebreather. Where are we at right now? So we are... I think this way is north. So we hit the cave way up north there and get that rebreather and um, see how that goes. <gasps> oh my goodness. How did I miss this guy before? So really quick guys, just an update on what, what's going on. Um, I was gonna return to the raft. I forgot to mention that you guys let me know that if I go back out there, I should be able to get the handgun again. Oh my God, a grenade. Um, but I should be able to get the handgun for myself, and so Virginia also has one. Um, so, this, so that's what I was coming to do, and I heard this music, and now I'm seeing this guy. Oh no. Wait, what is this? 9mm ammo and pistol rail? Wait, so we can actually add attachments to our gun? Oh man. I don't see a name tag on this guy either. Wow, okay. Um, doesn't look like there's much else here, but I know I say this every time. I just wish we could bury these guys. How did he die, though? I don't see any obvious cause of death. There's no blood, nothing. Like, there's nothing. He was, he set up camp here. He was eating and drinking. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna go and get that gun and then keep moving. Oh, uh oh. Hold on, guys. I, I I was on my way to that northern cave. It's just up this way. And, um, looks like we found something here. Ooh, looks like some kind of mass grave or something? Oh no. I'm so curious how all of these people got here in the first place. Like, was this island inhabited at one point? 
or was it like researchers? Oh, here we go. This guy's got a Bible. I guess it could be people coming trying to, uh, I guess, spread their religion, but wasn't that kind of the concept of the forest? There were people that, that went to the island that were trying to spread the, their religion and potentially trying to help the people. I might be completely wrong about that. Uh, for some reason that pops into my head, but um, they all ended up dying too. I just remember religion being a, a part of the story and it clearly is here too. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything too crazy except for just death here. So I'm going to keep moving. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we've made it to the cave. It looks like it's just below us here. See a, a couple cannibals out there. Shouldn't need to worry about them. So I'm just going to go straight down here. See if there's anything of value on the outside. It doesn't really look like it. All right, let's just go in. Okay, so I just took my lighter out just to start here. I'll, I'll, I'll switch to my flashlight once we need to little, get a little bit further. Okay, so these are definitely the bodies of uh, fellow soldiers here. Or actually, I don't know if we're soldiers, but uh, the Sunset Times Puffcore outbids Sahara Therapeutics for Remote Island. So that company, Puffcore, owns this island. So there was something on this island that they really wanted, some kind of resource, I guess. Well, that's right, it's it's that like gold-looking stuff. Whatever that really is, I don't think I've figured that out yet. All right, I guess we, uh, we just go in, see what this one's all about. It's paddles hanging from the ceiling. Okay, right now it's just the mole people. I think we, I think we try and kill them right off the bat. Where'd you get, where'd you go? They're quick. Okay, there's a fork here and an enemy. I think I'm gonna... Ooh, a couple enemies. I think I'm gonna go to the right first and see what that's all about. Hopefully that's the right choice. Okay, guys. As you can hear, there's music in here. I just passed another... Uh, Oh, just passed another guy that um, apparently I worked with. So I don't know when this tunnel's gonna end. And I just hit another fork in the road, and I went right again. I'm just sticking to the right. Um, hopefully, we can go back and and check out to see if we miss anything. Okay, here's some babies. Um, I'm gonna try and just move past these guys. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Hold on. There's a guy here. What does he have? Oh, what is that? A stun gun? Okay. Okay, what? That's like a wall or something? Okay, let me pick up these bottles, or at least one. Uh, I don't think we can get through here. Is this a shelf, or is this like the inside of a wall that looks like some piping? <laughs> it looks like some piping. Oh! What is this? Uh... Can't carry any more leather jackets. Okay, I guess I've, I've already got one. Ooh, here's some limbs. I think this might be the end of this one. Okay, so we have to be able to get in there somehow. Um, so let's go back, and then I'm gonna go left on that other fork. So far, like I said, we've hit two forks in the road, or in the, the cave. Um... So let me take that other route quick and see if we can get inside that building. Okay, I just went down the other fork and it doesn't look like there's anything. It's literally just this space right here. Um, I killed that guy a little bit ago. But yeah, this was the fork and this was that body that I found. So I'm gonna go back to the other fork, um, which I would assume then leads us to that building. I guess we'll find out in a second. Okay, um, a lot of uh, life jackets and what? what is it that the tube doing here? What were they doing? Was this like some kind of... Were they planning a resort or something here? Like... 
<laughs> or are these guys just messing around? Like some kind of water... Water attraction inside a cave? That'd be pretty cool. Um, minus the, uh, the creepy mutated things that want to kill you. Okay. It has really opened up up here. Oh, I already see a leg down there. Ooh, little lunchbox. Yeah, people were coming in here just to, to just to hang out for fun. Interesting. Not a whole lot of lighting. I don't know if I'd ever come. Oh, there's a shark. What? What is this thing doing in here? Um, can we take him out? It's gonna be really dark, but or at least scare him off. We might have to see if we can kill him. Uh, I don't know if I got him or not. Oh, I did! Okay, hopefully he's the only one. I'm gonna go back to that side quick. I'm definitely gonna have to jump in the water. I don't really know what to expect here. Oh! I was staring it right at this thing. The rebreather? There we go! Okay, I don't really know how we fuel this thing if if we even need to. Um, and I'm guessing okay, here it is. Okay, so we can choose to wear it or unequip it. Um, are we wearing it right now? It looks like it's full. Okay, so it looks like it's on right now. I'm gonna go to that shark. I don't know if we can skin that thing or what. Is there anything on this? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we can see our oxygen there. Let's get our arrows back. I don't think we can skin the shark. Oh, that'd be cool if we could. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, it's really hard to see. We can only see like a few feet in front of us, but this looks like it's the right way. It's got to be. So let's make our way through here. I'm thinking we'll have enough oxygen. I don't know why we wouldn't, but I don't know. If I, if I mess around too much down here, I obviously could run out. Okay, we're getting through a little tight squeeze here. One more. Oh, oh. Oh, hold on. Can't see anything. Uh, can we go up? Oh, we're on the ocean. Oh, beautiful. Here, let's uh, let's get to land here. That's why that shark was in there. That was not fresh water. That was uh, ocean water. Oh, amazing. Okay, so now we've got the rebreather. Now we got to go find, I think, the shovel. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, there's the big guys. Oh, my God. There's so many. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Getting back in the water. There was, uh, okay, so there's the fingers guys. The, um, the mole people, naked mole rats. And then what I also believe is called the twins, the, the, like the multi-legged guys. There's so many. Look at them. Yeah, get away from me. I'm going to try and sw swim across here. All right, guys. So I was able to escape the enemies, and then I actually doubled back to the cave entrance, which is right below me, and um, slept through the night using the little uh, lean-to that I had built the night before. So now that we've got the rebreather, we've got the rope gun, we've got uh, Kelvin who... Uh, is apparently super disagreeable right now. Now we're gonna have to go to uh, one more cave here uh, in order to find the shovel. Now that cave, I want to say it's this one straight ahead here by our purple marker up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one. So we'll need both the rope gun and the rebreather in order to get to that cave and get that shovel. And then from there, we're gonna find a key card. All right, so let's get going, Kelvin.
Oh, hold on. There's lights up here. Oh, there's lights. Oh, babies. Ah, let's just avoid these guys. They're nothing but trouble. Oh, what is this? Oh, I thought this was... Oh, it's a shovel! Hold on. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, some briefcases. Get out of here. Um, nothing else in there. <laughs> what is that? Is that a massive building? Um, okay, hold on. I, I Can I just go down, I guess? Oh, I can't go down. Here, let me, let me finish these guys off here, and then I think I can use the rope gun to get across. Okay, let's try it out. Um, this is gonna be the first time I've ever used the rope gun, if it allows me to. Now, do I shoot it over there, where there's a light, or do I, do I shoot it? Or do I shoot it? Wait, can we, can we not? I guess we don't grapple across? I thought we did. Um, I guess we don't, we don't go across there. We gotta figure out how to get there somehow, though. Alright, um, let's, I guess, work our way backwards out of the, out of the cave here and make sure, uh, we pick up anything that we might have missed. Alright guys, we are coming up on one of the dig sites that I believe is the one where we find the key card, but... We've actually been here before. Yeah, this is one of the spots that me and Kelvin kind of set up shop for a little bit while we learned the, the island a little bit. So, here, let's pull out that shovel. Here it is. Okay, this is the first time I'm ever using it. Okay, let's go. I don't know why I'm so excited to shovel dirt. Oh, it's like a, it's a, a hatch. It's an entrance. Okay. Let's get, let's finish digging it up here and see if we can get inside. There we go. Okay. Let's jump in. Oh, it's a maintenance hatch. Interesting. Come on. Come on. Oh, great, it's dark, and I'm pretty sure I'm very... What is that? Oh, great. Um, and <laughs> what I was saying is I'm pretty sure I'm low on batteries. Yeah, I've got about a quarter life left and no batteries. Um, let's just take out our lighter for now. Hopefully it's... Oh, this isn't too bad just, just yet. Okay, that stair must be in this room here. Ooh, the babies. Oh, what? Can we close the door? No, we can't. Oh my goodness. Hold on. What is this place? Uh, album cover. Bad pivot. Squeaky shoes. Okay. <laughs> so this is, this is a lounge area. Ooh, another computer. Wait, email? Uh, team, this afternoon it was discovered that a painting from Mr. Puffton's personal collection has gone missing. If anyone has information, please talk to me directly. Hank. Hank, we've talked, we've, uh, we've seen an email from that guy. What is this? Ooh, a laser sight? Oh, that's right. We've gotten attachments for our gun. Hold on, let's, um, <laughs> sorry. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let's show that in. We got the rail for it. And then, what is this? Flashlight and laser sight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the rail, our rail is on. Now I think that that's a flashlight. And now the laser sight. Look at this thing! <laughs> now, I don't know if this thing has any batteries. I don't think it does. That's really good. Um, okay, so we got another 3D printer here. And <gasps> Maintenance key card. Thank you, Mr. Carl Planter. Yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, print some grappling hooks really quick. I don't know what the max is, but I might as well see if I can max out quick. In the meantime... Is this that painting that that email was talking about? Why is this guy holding a head? That looks like the head of a... That's a red head. That reminds me of the mask that we have, that we printed. I don't know. This place is weird. I don't understand it. Okay, I have enough grappling hooks. Um, tech mesh. Ooh. Yeah, let's actually make some while we're here. It's got 750 milliliters of resin. Okay, so 
What does it take? I'd rather have the tech armor. I think that's better than the, the skin, the creepy skin armor. <gasps> oh no, it needs batteries. Screw it. I think it's worth it to have the armor versus the, the flashlight. Besides, with the flashlight, we can um, we can use our gun, I think. Maybe not in every scenario, but we can a little bit. So we can make a sled. So we made pretty much everything except for the sled. We'll have to do that in the future once we go back up into the snow area. So they were living here. Ooh, I could technically live here too. All right, now we're in the bathroom. Oh no. Tenant line by Sam Sound. I don't know what we can do with these books, but I've collected a few of them now. A tactical book? Wait, 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 hold on. I, I collected like a whole tactical set of clothes here. So we got the jacket. Oh, it's like, it's the, it's our uh, uniform. But I thought there was like shoes and stuff that, that I just picked up. Is that automatically equipped? That's what I'm thinking. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's, that's dark. That's tough to look at. I'm going to keep moving. Um, I think we've gotten everything we can out of this. Ah! Oh, I got a baby after me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, what is this area? Hold on. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to kill these babies. Oh, that sounds really bad. Uh, but I am gonna have to get rid of them here. Okay. Oh, still got one more. Okay, um, what's going on on these shelves? Nothing really. Got some fan blades, garbage, maintenance worker. Not a single person survived out here. That's rough. Uh, some stuff we can grab, but that's, I think, it. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I guess we just get out of here. All right, guys, we made it to the uh, the food stash here. So let's uh, let's loot up really quick. Oh man, I forgot about this guy. And there's that one door. Was there more than one? Was or were there two? Yeah, I think it was just the one. Yeah, let's check it out here. Here we go. <gasps> oh my goodness. This place is amazing. Oh, oh no. We're not alone though, unfortunately. Let's take these guys out, they're gonna be annoying. Okay, let's keep moving through. So, they had a big operation going here. I wonder how many people they had to feed. Oh boy. Oh boy, what, what is this? <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> the crossbow. This thing looks sick. What is this? Um, hold on. Let's uh, pick up whatever we got here. Energy mix. Another can of food, which you don't need. Anything else over here? No, I don't think so. Oh. Ooh. Oh, one of the big guys. Okay, hold on. Is it already got a bow in it or a bolt? Yes, it does. Okay. Let's uh see if we can take a shot here. And I missed. Oh, we've got some ammo here. Okay, I'm not too scared of this guy. We've we've dealt with him a few times. Where'd he go? Oh god, he's right here. Four. Okay, it takes four shots to take this guy down with the crossbow. Oh, this thing's so cool. Okay, it's getting dark back here now. Oh, yeah, getting a little bit, I mean, dark literally, but also dark as in something bad happened. Okay. Um, oh, boy, we're diving deep. Wait. Is this the inside of that massive, like, wall that we saw in one of the earlier caves? Ooh, we got some water. How deep does it get? Ooh, pretty deep. Oh, boy. Oh, this is hard to see in here. 
Oh, I'm sure glad that there's uh, no electricity running through this water right now. Okay, this is apparently an exit. What in the world happened here? Did some pipes break or something? And just flooded the entire facility? Or maybe something broke in or broke out. And it caused all the water from the surrounding area to flood in. Okay, we got another door here. Okay, we got another key card door up here. Oh, and another side door. Okay, let's check this out first before we go any further. Oh, it doesn't look like there's really anything in here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, let's let our battery refresh quick. Okay. All right. Oh, security room. Hold on. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, it looks good. Hold on a second. What in the world? Are these the cave uh, mole people? Wait a minute. Hold on. They're dressed normal. Wait. Whoa. I don't understand. It seems like they got infected. I might have to remember this room with all the tall windows. Oh, what is this? Oh, another key card. VIP key card. Okay. Wait a minute. Isn't that the... It's Virginia... Oh, it's Virginia puffed in. That's my friend. Okay, what's going on on the computer here? Wild story. Plane crash survivor claims pharmaceutical company experimenting on mutated humans. Uh, what is this? Another email. One more artifact. One more of artifact two. You think they're related to the cube. Is that HL? Jin Yu Zhang? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I know I butchered that. Sorry. So I saw him earlier when I went back to print some things on the computer in one of the bunkers when I printed like my canteen and stuff. Um, I saw his name on the computer. It said he was some kind of... He was in security and like a, a department assistant apparently. But he was some kind of high high security risk and it didn't really say much more than that. Okay, let's... Ooh, let's see uh, what's through this door. Some more music. This might go to... To another lounge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So not only did these guys have money to make underground bunkers and do all these tests, but they had the money to make... <gasps> <gasps> Ooh, what in the world? Oh! Oh! That's the lady that was on camera, I think! Ouch! Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to take out my crossbow. Oh, she nailed me hard. All right, we got two of them. Oh, I hit her, I think. Let's keep running. Scouch! There we go. Hold on. All right, got him. Ooh, there we go. Got him right in the chest. Oh! Hit him again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He does not want to go down. There. Oh, he's running. God, this guy's taking a million bullets. Oh, I hit him again. Oh, you know what? I got my pistol. I think I'm just going to use my pistol on him. I don't want to take the chance of dying. Never mind. <laughs> oh guys you have no many you have no idea how many times i just completely forget that i have a gun on me and i just refer revert back to these primitive uh weapons that i have i just get so panicked in the moment that i just completely forget about the resources that i have okay let's check out this place here i'll leave that music going it's actually not too bad oh here's where one of my bolts went so i noticed oh my goodness what I'm thinking is that this was kind of their last supper. Barbara Puffton, Virginia Puffton, the whole family was here. Another email. 
Hank, we have wasted another full afternoon and still have been unable to find any trace of the golf balls? This is entirely unacceptable. Additionally, not getting a, a response to any of these emails is extremely unprofessional. Neither myself nor my brother are happy with how we're being treated. Miles Goldstein. Okay, so Hank's like up there. Hank Keys. Hank was at this dinner. Hank is one of these guys. Oh my goodness, these are disgusting. Every single kind of one of these mutants were here. Or the people that were here were turned into these mutants. Oh my goodness, I just realized you can walk through this. I thought this was like a pitch black wall or screen or something. Hold on, let me get my flashlight back out. This is all water. Oh my goodness. Alright, we are back to our original little home that we got set up here. And the grave is right here, so let's uh, start digging it up. This is our first one. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I guess I should expect what you expect in graves, but... I don't know, you never know with this island. Ooh! Oh! What? <laughs> what are the odds that I set up camp right to the one with the right next to the one with the shotgun? Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh, we got another GPS locator. Um Can we rebury this guy? Or did we just set up a home next to a now permanently exposed body? Uh <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to head out this way. Um, we haven't really been out to this area of the map. I, I, it's hard to show you guys, but I'm talking about way in the very top of the map on the GPS right now. Um, we really haven't been out that direction. So I want to explore that a little, that a little bit and um, see what that's all about. Um, so let's head over that way and uh, see if we find anything interesting. I'll let you guys know if uh, anything happens along the way. going on here anything in the carts no there usually isn't so I'm guessing we're gonna have to dig okay so let's uh well, let's start over here I guess Ugh. all right let's see what's going on down here let's get our uh, old faithful shoddy out here nothing in the corner all right, let's get moving. Okay, this seems to have a similar layout as the last one. Oh. It looks like it was going to be kind of the same thing, potentially. Oh, <gasps> a revolver? <laughs> How many weapons have we found so far? We found a revolver, a shotgun, a golf club. Uh, what else am I missing? Oh, the crossbow? Um, and probably- oh yeah, the stun gun? Oh my goodness, we are coming out way ahead today. Uh, let's see here, anything good? Yeah, it looks like they just never finished here. Okay. So, I'm curious- so these are maintenance hatches, but the first one that we came across, it had a, a whole living space down here where someone clearly was um, spending a lot of their time and sleeping at night. Was it an actual maintenance worker or like an important person? If it was an important person. Why were they? Um, why were they in a maintenance hatch? Either way, let's uh, see if there's anything good here. Some more resin. I'm completely out of. What are what are these? Looks like a massive bottles of perfume or something. Um, 
Is that it? Not really was that it because I, I found a revolver which is pretty sweet. But it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Alright guys, so I was going to head back to our base but it's... It's all the way across the map at this point. All the way, way over this mountain and everything. So, I see this marker over here. I want to go check that out here really quick and see what that's all about. And um, then we'll figure out our next move. Alright guys, we are coming up on the marker right now. So let's see what this thing is all about. Uh, oh. Oh. Ooh, okay. This is like the first, like, real entrance of anything we've actually seen. Um... Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go in. Should be able to use our card. We've gotten like three cards, so I, I assume we have enough at this point. Oh boy, it is pitch black in here. Oh. Oh, something happened right there. <laughs> oh boy, we are going down into the depths. It's still going. Oh boy. Okay, it's blocked off there. Gonna have to go in here. Okay, this is weird. Um. Oh great, it goes down even further! Oh no, okay. Wait, what is this? Oh, so many options. Um, let's go this way first. I don't think we can get in these doors, can we? No, they're all locked. Another exit there. Okay, that's blocked. What's going on in here? Ooh. Oh. Some kind of bedroom? What's happening here? Yeah, this was definitely some kids' room. Is there anything back here? No. What is this? Is this a... It sounds like there's something on the other side of this. Can we get through this? No, I don't think so. This is... I'm wondering if this is like a two-way mirror or something. Some kind of gate or something uh, blocking it. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, let's go back. Um, yeah, we gotta go this way. Let's see if there's anything going on down here. Oh my goodness, this was like an entire lobby. Yeah, this is like... So this is a reception area. Did they have like tours or something? I guess they just had to have people to, to work. So whoever lived on this island could come and use the facilities, but... Here's some paintings. Oh, that's that cube! That's the cube that's been talked about in the emails! Oh, I think it's in every single painting. A holographic tree. Underneath the hollow tree, I see you, but you don't see me. Yeah, the cube's in every single painting here. Wait, that's, that's it? Oh, there's a door right here. Oh gosh, I'm a little bit nervous here. Okay, I don't know what to expect. Oh no. Someone's hanging from the ceiling. Wow, this place was fancy. Oh my goodness. Here, let's turn this off. I'm expecting just at any moment something to come after me. It's a bar. Got some vodka. Oh, some ammo? Wait, what was that? 
hold on. Okay, hold on. What was that that... Oh, it's another shotgun! Oh! Okay, so I guess if we didn't dig up that grave, um, we would at least found another one down here. Okay, so they had a few entertainment areas. Uh, what is this? Email. Crosses burn demons. Oh, no. I don't know what the text is in the middle that's all circled. It looks like gibberish. Oh, no. What happened here? How was this still standing when this happened? Hold on, I'm gonna see if we can get through there in a second, but I'm gonna... See if there's anything else to explore out here quick. It doesn't look like there is. No, nothing on the shelves. Wait. Oh, there's stuff right here. And I got another shotgun rail. I thought I have one. Yeah, I have one right now. Well, I guess we got a spare if we need one. Okay. Oh, God. Let's go through here. Oh, no. <gasps> Where have I seen this door before? I've most definitely seen it. Is there anything down here quick? Um, no. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Wait. I need an arm. Whose arm? Or hand? Uh, I don't know. I apparently need someone's whole arm or hand. I didn't see any bodies or anything out here. Was there a dead body, like, of significance? I know there's the, the workers' bodies, but I didn't see anything else. Oh my goodness. I was just heading back out to, to do some searching and... This is the book that I found. Eric LeBlanc, LeBlanc rescued. This was the original forest. That's so cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not ready for this one yet. Clearly I need uh, someone's limb <laughs> in order to, uh, to proceed past that door. Um, and to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. So I'm going to make my way out of here and um, probably head back to our base. Now guys, before we go anywhere, I just left the bunker, but before we go anywhere, I want to check out the beach here, do a little exploring, because it looks like there might be something going on here. There's some golf carts that are stranded out here. Man, how cool would that be to repair one of these so we can use that to traverse across the map? That would be fun. Uh, but anyway, let's go out here. There's a dock out here. I want to see what that's all about. Oh, this is a helipad. Okay. This looks like there's a little bit of supplies here. I'll snatch up everything I can. It's unfortunate I'm not seeing any boats that would, uh, that would facilitate our uh, escape from the island, unfortunately. But, um, is there anything? Oh, there's another backpack? One of our guys was out here. Wonder, uh, wonder what happened to this one. Well, I think we can assume. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else out here. Just a little bit of supplies, so... What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make use of this, uh, solid, uh, spot of land. And... Oh! I did not know we could put down two. Okay, now I got one massive tent. I did not realize that we could do two in a row like this. Well, if Virginia and Kelvin ever decided to join me out here, uh, they have more than enough room now. But guys, I think I'm gonna call it there. We got a ton, a ton done this episode. We found so many guns. We found, well, we found parts for the pistol. We found the revolver. We found the stun gun, shotgun, two shotguns, actually. Uh, a bunch more grenades, which was really cool. Uh, we found the shovel, the, the putter, which I, I still haven't gotten to use that just yet, and the crossbow. Oh my goodness, we found so much. And on top of that, we went to, I don't know how many bunkers now. Um, oh! Uh, <laughs> and I'm still not exactly sure what happened on this island outside of the pharmaceutical company uh, doing a bunch of testing uh, and, and creating these mutants, or testing on the mutants, I'm not exactly certain. Um, and then clearly religion has some kind of aspect in this story. We just saw that last piece of paper that said something about demons. So I don't know if these guys are also demons or, or what's going on. But 
I'm super interested. I can't wait to keep going. Um, this last bunker that we were just in right over, was it over there? Somewhere nearby. Um, that one feels like kind of end game. Like that, that, that door, that door makes me think that um, it's almost like a point of no return. Um, so I think uh, before we try and return to that, well, number one, we're going to need someone's arm or hand um, to even get through there because ours clearly won't work. But number two, I want to make sure I do some more exploring and, and really figure out what's going on on this island before we dive back into that bunker. But man, this was a really fun one. Extremely productive. Um, I think next episode, we'll go back to our base. Uh, we might do some additions. We might might play around, see with uh, see what we can do with, with our, uh, our base and have some fun with that and then do some more exploring as well and hopefully uh, make use of some of our new guns and our new melee weapons. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. I had a lot of fun. Let me know what you think. Throw a like on the video if you liked it. Comment. Let me know if you've got any tips. I, I read all of your guys' comments. I really do and I appreciate every single one. Subscribe if you do want to see some more. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Later.